Hey everybody, it's Eric Holmgren, your ambassador at large. And today I am with Marty Coons at Cogier of Brea Senior Living. How are you doing today, Marty? I'm doing well, thank you. It is so nice to be here. This is a fantastic facility, very beautiful. Thank you. And I understand it's all brand new. We are, we opened on July 6th. Okay, and tell us a little bit about Cogier of Brea. What all do you guys offer here? So Cogier of Brea is a senior living community and we offer assisted living, independent living and memory care. And it's really an inclusive um, experience for residents, people who are in their homes and really would like to have a, um, not have to manage those different household duties. So it includes three meals a day prepared by our chef. Okay. In addition, there is uh, a lot of fun activities with our lifestyle director and outings. And we also have housekeeping and laundry and transportation. Okay. And usually is it like a studio or a one bedroom apartment or what's the great. sort of setup? Yeah, great question. So in assisted living, independent living, we have 58 units um, with one bedrooms, open one bedrooms and studios. And in memory care, we have predominantly private rooms, which are okay. 22 rooms in memory care. Okay, good. And you guys uh, just opened when? Three weeks ago. So July 6th was our opening date. Okay. And um, so we definitely have some availability at this point. It's a great time to come in and, and we have a founders club. So the residents that are original um, residents really get to make their stamp and create part of those activities programs that they're interested in. Okay, well, cool. And what is the uh, age range or parameters for the type of clientele that are coming here? So the age, the parameters are that you have to be 60 or older, but really the average age is between 80 and 85 years old, Okay. I would say. Um, and currently all of our residents are completely independent, but we do provide care should they need it with a 24 hour staff. Okay, right. So if they need some nursing care or they need some additional assistance, you've got somebody here 24 seven to help yes, them out. Yes, okay. absolutely. And so a nurse too. Okay, well good. Now, how long have you been with Cogier? I've been here, it's been exactly a year, and I was the first employee, so I started before the community was finished. Okay, the and great, and then what's your background leading up to this? So I was in the hotel industry for 20 years, um, ending with luxury boutique communities along the coast of California, and then I just really wanted to have something that made more of a difference, and so I looked into different things and chose the senior living industry. So I've been doing this for 12 years, and it just really speaks to my heart just based on my relationship with my grandma Marty, um, who I was very close to. Okay. Um, and so it's just amazing to be able to, you know, see people move in who are really kind of, you know, failing at home. They come in and meet new people. They have a whole new chapter and they blossom. Okay. So for you, it's really a case of taking that, those years of customer service from the hotel industry. Yeah and then applying it here definitely where you can really see with the clientele a, a as you said a blossoming or an improvement of their lives exactly. because they have a chance to interact with other people they're not sort of cloistered away and even so. with their with their kids as well giving them peace of mind which is so important because they you know people they weren't getting sleep and just knowing their their mom or dad are okay Okay, that is an important consideration I didn't even think about that yeah so well very good um, is there what's so are, are there some other things here that are are important for you to let folks know about what are some different activities or actions yeah so i think what sets our community apart is we're really a boutique community and um in that we have a smaller footprint so it's really ideal for somebody who is oftentimes a single person we're in the heart of brea so they can continue to maintain that active lifestyle of being across the street from the brea community center the brea mall the library a mile from downtown so it's just it kind of has everything at your fingertips okay um and i just think because it's just a very modern it's like a it's like a modern coastal feel so there's nothing like it in the industry it looks very different than other senior living communities yeah i mean it very much looks like a boutique hotel it does yeah. exactly when it first came here i was like oh this is very nice so i feel like yes yeah, so i feel like i'm in the hotel industry still yeah yeah that's very good so you guys are very new mm -hmm. um what are some challenges that you've been facing and what are some techniques or things that you've been doing to try to overcome that i would say the biggest challenge because uh Cogier, this is the first community in orange county that Cogier has um, opened and so that name brand awareness has been a little bit of a challenge 
And so being in Brea, and it's such a very close-knit community with businesses and such, we've really focused on being entrenched in the community. Um, I've, we've joined the Rotary Club, but they actually hold our, their meetings here at the community. Very nice. Um, giving back, and then also just really a lot of networking and outreach. Uh, so it's still a, a work in progress, I would say. Right, right. Well, over time, it'll start to blossom yes. as you start to get out there and do more. So more direct networking, marketing type of stuff. Definitely. Okay. And volunteering. And volunteering. All right. So in addition to helping out with the Rotary, you're hosting them. Are you then also helping out with some of their different activities or fundraising? We are. So I'm going to actually my role with the Rotary is going to be with membership. Okay. So that because membership actually failed, you know, got a little bit smaller during COVID. Right. So that's going to be my focus. And then also um, we're partnering with the Seroptimus in La Habra Brea. Ah, okay. Um, and they're looking at sex trafficking and helping the women, which is really an important piece. Okay. And then I also volunteer at the, the Brea Senior Center, which is my favorite thing. <laughs> Get to serve lunch to all the residents. All right, and when do you have time to actually work? Then? Exactly, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a juggle. Okay, well, very good. Well, it sounds like you guys are doing great things here. It looks like a lovely facility, lots of great um, atmosphere for everybody. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our community here before we wrap it up? Well, I would love to invite you to come for a tour. Uh, we would love to show you around, try a meal, and um, just thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share our information with you. Okay, well, you're welcome. Marty, it was terrific meeting you. It was terrific seeing the place. And I look forward to seeing you at some of those networking events Absolutely. Uh, that the Chamber and others host. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right, everybody, and until our next episode, be well.